Hi, I'm Andy Hale. I'm undergraduate coordinator for the Department of Biological and Agricultural Engineering. This is a degree that tends to attract those people who like to get very hands-on, very applied, very what can I do with it. They want to be out there, they want to be doing things with their hands, they want to be intimately involved with what's going on, and they like the variety of problems and working with those sorts of issues. Uh, we also have two uh, concentration tracks, one in environmental systems and one in agricultural systems. Uh, the agricultural side lends itself much to food and fiber production and the issues around that. The environmental side of things deals with environmental restoration and preservation and environmental quality and those kinds of things. An environmental area for us that includes stream restoration, stormwater BMP, sediment and erosion control. It's very important that these things not just get designed correctly, but they are installed correctly and then they have to be maintained. Otherwise, they will not function. Often, too, they gain a lot of understanding about design with this degree. They're more about seeing things through that whole process and kind of we expose them a lot to people, professionals out in the field in these environmental careers and what their day-to-day -day life looks like. Because, you know, again, these students are coming in, they know they want something a little different than kind of standard engineering design. They want to be more hands-on. So we try to offer up ideas and connect them with companies and potential employers that would kind of satisfy that need. If you're the type of person that is very technically minded, very task focused, uh, you like to put what you're working on in the classroom uh, to work in the real world. Much of what you're learning is gonna be very applied. It's gonna be hands-on. Uh, that is something that drew me to this degree, both in the classroom uh, and in research. So my name is Thomas Stevenson, and I'm a lecturer here in the BAE department. I teach four courses within the department. I teach a shop process as a management course where students come in and they learn metal fabrication skills. They learn the differences in types of metal. They'll get experience with cutting, drilling, welding materials. The electricity course, uh, which is called agri agricultural electrification, students will get experience in AC and DC electrical circuits. They'll get to do electrical readings. They'll get to wire stud walls and size wires um, and create electrical control circuits, which are used pretty heavily in industry. The geomatics course that I teach here is just surveying technology. We talk about optical surveying equipment, things like levels and total stations, and just learning how to use the equipment which is used in industry. And the last course I teach here is an Ag Institute course, and it is in the area of small engine mechanics. So we talk about the function of a small engine, the engine cycles, how to basically take a small engine, tear it all the way apart and completely rebuild it where it will run. We also go over areas of things like engine troubleshooting, transmission systems, and different implements that we can connect to flight equipment. So I'm Grant Ellington. I'm an Extension Assistant Professor in the department. It provides a technical problem-solving skills to non-engineering students and are still working in the areas of agriculture and environmental systems. You've got a reduced number of students Per instructor, so you get more opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with an instructor. And that generally tends to generate a more of a family atmosphere, certainly more inviting atmosphere, where students open up more, they ask a lot more questions, and you get into a lot of deeper discussions on the topics you cover the course. There are many opportunities to work uh, as an undergraduate research assistant. Uh, that's what I did. Um, it gives you a lot of opportunities to see newly developing technologies uh, hands-on and to get to work on those. Um, and I really think that the most valued asset that this degree brings is just the real world experience that goes along with your classroom training. Someone should pursue this degree if they want a high level of freedom in choosing elective courses to go along with their major program. Um, it gives you the opportunity to learn things from business to environmental economics to agricultural marketing to leadership training um, and it really sets you up to get a wide variety of things covered uh, while you're here at NC State.